So let's take a look now at the Photos app. So here you see some photos that were taken in San Francisco. And you see nothing was done to organize these photos explicitly, and yet they have these labels like the Palace of Fine Arts, Baker Beach, Lombard Street. It provides this natural organization for appreciating the photos. We can go up to more trips, more time in San Francisco, Golden Gate, San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf. But then you see we have home. We have photos taken at home and photos taken at the elementary school and around that area. And now if you want to zoom back out to get a, a more of a bird's eye view of your collection, we draw these moments intelligently together into collections. So see here how that multiple day trip around San Francisco is collected. Sorry about that. I got a little excited there. Into, <laughs> it's a very exciting interface, into a multi-day trip in San Francisco. And that time at home and around the school, well, that's one moment, that's one collection as well. It's a really great way to browse your photos. You can even go all the way out to the year level. Look across your whole photo collection. And look at how we pull out the interesting places that you went in that year. Like 2011 was Colorado and Hawaii. 2012 went to South America. You may not remember when you did it, but iOS does. And it's right there. And you know, with this retina display, you can even kind of make out patterns of photos and when different occasions are. And of course, we found like we had the urge that we wanted to just tap in right from here. And so now, in fact, you can. You can just tap and scrub and find the photo you're looking for just like that. It's really just amazing. So I can just pick a photo here, whichever one I want. It's kind of cute. And now we can edit it because we have photo filters. So I can go into the filters here. I can try different color effects. And if I find one I like, maybe a nice black and white, I can do it just like that. I'll apply it, save that photo away. We also have great new ways to share your photos in the Photos app. So let's bring up sharing. We have a uh, AirDrop right here, if any of you were running iOS 7, I'd see you, it looks like it didn't leak, so that's good, you're not in there right now. But you have AirDrop, you have access to other photos, you can share them from right here, which is really handy. Great photo sharing option is iCloud photo sharing. I'm gonna tap on that now, let's go into iCloud photo sharing. And from here, I can select the photo streams that I wanna to share to. So I'm on family photos now, but I'm gonna drill in, and I can see other photo streams I've set up and now other people can share into my photo stream as well. So these are shared photo streams. I'll just select a, a photo stream here and uh, type a little message. We'll post that photo. So we've made it really easy to share and we've also made it a really great experience to experience the photos you and others have shared with this new shared tab at the bottom. So I'm gonna go in here, you can see my photo with a comment. I can see the comments of other people and the photos that they've shared. And now we even support sharing video via iCloud photo sharing. And we have a great way to just browse those shared photos. I just tilt the device into landscape. I can scroll through it like this and just look at how beautiful that is. What a great way to experience your photos. So that's the new Photos app in iOS 7.